this was a very widespread flooding situation. You probably got that impression just by looking at the video. But look at these rainfall amounts. These are places that had never seen this much rain on this date in September before. And some of them, it was only three inches in Connecticut, for instance. But that just goes to show you how unusual it is. Some of these places hadn't ever seen this much rainfall in one day. And those are the places where you see the asterisks here. Now, I'm going to give you a sample of some of the rainfall totals. And you can just look it over. You can see how much rainfall there was. But what I'm trying to show here is just how broad an area of the United States had heavy rain. So when we get that much rain, obviously, it's not too surprising that we had some flood problems. Here's the good news, though. No more flood watches, just a few flood warnings here, Connecticut, southern sections of New York, northern New Jersey, and conditions continue to improve. So we should start to see some of the rivers and creeks in this region begin to recede here in the short term. And part of the reason that's happening is because we've seen the rain tapering off. Floyd, the remnants of Floyd, got absorbed into this area of low pressure here. We're still seeing some rain wrapping around behind the low pressure system throughout Maine and parts of New Hampshire, but for the most part, the rainfall is light. As you can see here, we are picking up some rain around Bangor and just south of Portland and also in some eastern areas of New Hampshire. But again, as I mentioned, the rainfall here, very light. If anything to accumulate between now and uh, the mid-morning hours, tomorrow it'll be about a tenth of an inch or so of rainfall. We do continue, however, to deal with the wind. And so because of that, the thing we